Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. I was just recounting what we did today. There's a lot that goes on in today's episode. Some pretty epic adventures, fighting the forces of darkness, and also getting our hands dirty doing some shady business deals with some of the other server members. We also get set up with some farms to help with the creation of our guild over the next couple of episodes. There's a lot going on today, so you want to make sure and stick around and check it all out. But I'll stop yapping, and I'll let you guys get right into the episode. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode on the Prism SMP server. We are here today for episode two, and I've got a lot planned for today's episode. We're actually going to get started on some of the uh, functioning components of what is going to be our guild and uh drum roll please uh you know uh we actually decided who, who is that back there dr wares hmm, interesting um i've actually decided that i'm going to kind of be leading the charge on starting the carpenters guild so everything wood related is kind of going to be under my jurisdiction and everything like that and uh, we're going to use that area that we cleared out in the last episode to uh, establish a guild hall and everything because that's what we need to start selling items doing all that fun stuff um but yeah we have a lot to do to get that to the point of setting it up um i think the natural progression is to kind of get a couple of farms going uh just for the materials that we're going to need to build the guild hall and everything like that and then two uh these farms once we have them are going to allow us to sell these items when we can finally uh pop a shop up but yeah this uh this episode's probably going to be focused on strictly the farms maybe some shenanigans with with the other the other members i i don't really know what's going on yet but uh we kind of just have to see and we have to kind of figure out what it is that we need farm wise because uh redstone is not my uh, strong suit not at all to say the very least so yeah we're gonna hop right into it and hopefully within the next couple episodes we will have a guild hall and shop set up and then we can start making those sweet sweet diamonds and you know become a rich individual here on the prism smp server but it's all fun. It's all fun. And yeah, so let's let's just uh, hop into some things real quick. So I just got word from our friend Cypher that he needs some help uh, collecting some wither skulls and then also fighting the uh, wither boss. So we're actually going to head on over there and help him out with that real quick and hopefully not die because that would suck really bad. But yeah, let's uh let's hop on over there and see how he's doing and uh get right to it. Yeah, so basically with this, we have this tunnel. So we just like come over here, we wait a couple seconds to let them spawn, and then we just run back and then we kind of just do that over and over again until we get the skulls. Gotcha, also build okay. a secret secret tunnel that <laughs> Ari kept breaking into when we were doing this. Yeah, we I were don't here, want to describe like, what I'm looking at. But, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this Nether Fortress is like a Scooby Doo uh, episode. Like it wraps all around and like comes back on itself, and it doesn't make any sense on how some of it works. But now the weather. Oh, I got one. Nice. <laughs> Take that, RNG. Yeah, there you go. So I suppose my question would be... Oh, I'm about um, to die. Wait, you're about to die? No, 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 <laughs> yeah. no, no. Say psych no, right I got, now. I got, withered, I got withered and I got... um, And I got hit by the blaze. That was close.
I come from a place, Costa Soul is a place of light and mm. uh, facing darkness head on. And right. what we are doing today is summoning darkness itself. Are we now? Is that what we're doing? That's what we're doing. And so mm, okay. the it would be very natural for you to find yourself feeling fear or, or cowardly emotions. But I sincerely cipher <laughs> vow to protect you. And, uh, okay. From the darkness. <laughs> okay. Okay. Under understood. Yeah. So uh, just like just my... place that. Yeah. Just yeah, place well, that last head gonna... down. Well, because I'm fearless, I'm gonna monologue a little bit more. I'm not oh, scared, okay, so okay. I have to say yeah, a few go... more things. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> um, go ahead. Look, Panda, you're like mm. my best Minecraft friend. Okay. And right. Right. We we've, we've just gone on so few yet such impactful adventures together we even run a business together yeah so, a dirty business llc trademark i couldn't copyright. imagine being here with, with with anyone else well i mean regent if if he wasn't busy but yeah uh, i couldn't obviously. imagine being here with anyone else let's yeah, I don't, just i don't blame uh, you on that one i don't blame you on that one you 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 have my word that i'll protect you i will not abandon you down here to die yeah okay? i would, I would no hope not i would hope not since you're the, the seasoned vet, the pro, the pro Minecrafter. Yes, and I, 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 uh, oh, where are you at? There you are. Yeah, see, yeah. I, with, with my skills and, and your charm, this wither stands no chance. Just Summon gonna... the beast. Ooh, spooky. Okay, you know, I, I meant all the stuff I said before, but I think I'm about to, I think I'm about to poop my pants right now. Did you think so? Oh, I just gotta hope okay. I don't hit you. Did you bring a bow? Good. I, I, well, I've only got like 10 arrows, so. Oh, you don't have infinity yet. Oh. I don't. Okay, okay. Why is it hiding in the sky like that? That's so rude. It really is. But it works well. Okay, it was ignoring you, but now it's, now yeah. it's not. Hold on. So I got some hits in. It's breaking the torches. The light is no. fading. The monsters are coming. <laughs> oh no. Yo, we got a wither rose though. That's kind of dope. Okay. Nice. Oh yeah, because if it kills stuff, we get wither roses. All right, I got oh, one bow shot in. He's on me, dude. Come these torches again. There we Running go. around. He's regenerating health. He does that? Oh no. Yeah. Hit him with the sword. Sword time. Is he, is he about to explode? Is that why he's going like that? No. This means we can't use the bows anymore. Hey. Wait, he's about to die. Yo, we got him. We did it. And, and, and we you got, got like, the head. Back. We got two heads. Those are the wither heads. We got the wither head, right? And then yeah. the wither projectile head. Wow. I would say that's pretty rare. That might be uh value wise, that might be um worth a couple dirt. If I had to guess. If I had to be a guessing man. A few dirt indeed. A few dirt a few, indeed. A few dirt indeed. Probably at least seven, if I had to guess. <laughs> you know, that was man, yeah. that was so easy. I wasn't scared at all, guys. Yeah, Not you were at fearless. All. You were a, I... a brave warrior. <laughs> I protected Panda so well. No one on the server could have done for you what I just did today. Absolutely not. No. Not in a million years. Not. Do dare have, I say it? Dare I say it? Not even Regent. Not even Regent. Not even Regent could have yeah. pulled out these moves. Now let's see. Exactly. Now I'm just trying to get it all in my inventory. What do I not really need? I could spare the raw pork chops. I could drop these shears. Uh, I'll just get rid of this iron ingot. A zombie dropped it. I have a farm for that. Everyone has a farm for that, so. Yep. That's crazy. Well, uh, that that's the whole adventure, I suppose. That that's the adventure. That's that's all she wrote. <laughs> iron oh, ingot. Man. That's crazy. We fought that guy for like not even like five minutes. Not even five minutes, the, yeah. But we got the skulls to summon it for like an hour. Well, but. shoot. I guess this is uh, 
I mean, once we resurface, this is probably where we part ways for now. Yeah, probably. Uh, thank you for being the the fearless leader that I that I knew you could be. Don't really know if I would have been able to <laughs> handle that by myself. Um, not because you actually needed needed the help, because you're you're the fearless leader. So I right. saw the the best in you. Yeah, and uh, and I I wanted to bring that out, so I, I took you to the darkest. You ever hear like hero's journey and like writing and all that? I yeah, took you yeah. to the darkest cave. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Perfect. All right, folks, now that we've helped our buddy Cypher out, we're going to be going and getting into the real meat of today's episode. And that's going to be figuring out what we need to do to get our guild hall up and running. And uh, I'm thinking for this, we're going to need a couple of different farms, um, some for just some miscellaneous materials and everything like that. And, you know, some others just for general purpose item selling once we have the guild hall up and running but um yeah we're probably gonna get right into that here in just a moment and um i'll catch you when we go to build our first farm alrighty folks so a pretty decent amount of time has passed since that last little snippet of me recording and everything and as you can see we have this monster of a farm right here behind me um this is a bone meal farm everyone this is a uh, editing panda here i completely forgot to mention in this video clip here that uh, we actually built this farm and collected the materials and everything for it during a live stream over on my twitch account you should uh, definitely go follow me over there um to kind of stay in the loop if i do something like that and uh, also because it just helps me out so yeah we'll get uh, right back to this clip though for what we're gonna be like what we're gonna be using this for is for a tree farm set up you know we need a lot of bone meal to grow trees and then to grow wood to then sell wood uh, for our carpenters guild and everything like that so um one of the things that is cool about this is that if we pop one up here real quick i can show you all a little demonstration of how exactly it works so each side of this is basically producing stone you know for my uh limited understanding of it you know this design was given to me by by Etz, one of the other members on the server but um as we can see if i pop up into into free cam right now uh let me close that um we essentially have these stone generators here that it's a double stone generation thing and then we have these pistons and redstone and they're basically pushing this stone out uh, in a line here and all that to then get triggered here um, we have a little bit of redstone going on that will bone meal uh, this moss block and then turn all this into moss and so as this keeps pushing it'll break those items over and over and over again and all these items will then fall down into this center bit here where all these hoppers are and go into this composting setup and after the composting is done and all squared away there's these little units here that will i'm assuming detect that there's an item in here and then immediately kind of spit it out into the water stream where you know it goes up here and then flies through gets aligned here um, on this edge so that way these hoppers on either side can pick up the bone meal again and utilize it to just refuel the farm so it'll it'll self-sufficient like it's it's self-sufficient once it's all up and going and everything and then over here i just have a little bit of an item collection system and as you can see i, I ran this for literally like maybe a couple like an hour hour or two and we're already like pretty much full all the way um, I'm going to turn it on really quickly so you can actually see it working in action. It is a little bit laggy, so I'm not going to leave this on a ton while we're recording. But as you can see, both sides are converting and then, you know, taking the items down, down at the bottom there. And then, as you can see, we got a pretty consistent stream of bone meal coming through. 
Like this thing produces bone meal pretty, pretty quickly. So it's really, it's really interesting and neat to say the very least. But yeah, this is eventually going to be a setup where we're not really going into an item collection. This is probably going to go straight to our tree farm that I'm going to build somewhere else over here. So yeah, folks, now we're going to be getting into a little bit of a much, much smaller, much more simpler farm. Uh, this is going to be a farm. I'm kind of building all these farms over here. If we look at my map real quick, um, over here, as you can see, it's kind of northeast of the guild hall and everything like that. And um, we're doing this for the simple fact of, or I'm doing this for the simple fact of just kind of having this in a central area that's like not all up on top of that because that island is a little small for what we're doing but yeah basically what we're going to be building here is a um cow farm that is going to allow us to uh the two main reasons i need it the the first one is i need leather right because i need a lot of bookcases and books so leather is going to be a big one and then also i just keep running out of food and I'm aware that I can, you know, set up the golden carrots with the villagers and everything like that. But I kind of just want to do something different, have a little bit of, you know, farm behind it or whatever, just to just to mix things up. I mean, I might eventually switch to the the golden carrots, but uh, for right now, we're just going to do this because I need the leather anyway. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get into building that. Okay, folks, we're back now, and I've constructed this little cow farm here, and then also right next to it, I have this nano crop farm to grow the wheat to then breed the cows. I still need to breed uh, the cows up to the max limit, but once they are all said and done, this will be ready to go. Um, let's see real quick. I'm going to test this farm out, so I think you do this once to turn it on or turn it off, I mean, and then you do this again, and then once this goes, you just hold right-click here. Yeah, and then this grows everything for you super fast. So that's super cool. This is going to get us a ton of wheat uh, very easily for just, like, multiple different things. I mean, obviously for the immediate term, you know, uh, the cow breeding, but then as well we will have... Uh, access to things like hay blocks and you know targets and stuff like that which is really cool but yeah I just have to breed these guys up so that way they uh are I gotta wait till this is like mob capped out so like 24 in or not mob cap but like 24 in each of these guys until they start cramming and then this will be like ready to go um to then send like the baby animals into the chamber down here which once they fully grow I press this button and it kills them with lava and the items will go into this chest but yeah I want to now get started on potentially doing a little bit of terraforming for over at the island um, because I know that for the build I'm going to try and pull off uh, terraforming is going to be a general purpose like thing that we have to do first so i'm gonna head over there probably do a little bit of a time lapse and then i think after that we're gonna go mining for some resources and while we mine we'll have a little chat and just talk about some different things so yeah uh let's head over there and see what we can do
Okay, and with those last four blocks, we have now uh, built this platform, uh, per se. I um, want to do a quick little round here. Um, on this side, I threw up some walls, um, and I kind of stopped right here because I got to about this point. I was going to build walls around the entire thing um, because I know the dimensions for this are going to be roughly about the size of this platform um in terms of like decorating and everything and so i added these walls because i was gonna i was gonna terraform down the side of the mountain and everything you know blended in better um but as i got to about right here like right around this corner i realized that um technically the building is actually going to fit with inside the space and so i might not need as much of this direct uh, kind of area here but that's why I've left this kind of like this on the back side and I'm gonna allow it to you know I'll keep it for now as a template kind of just to potentially terraform I think this side will be fine like I could easily blend this side I just got a little wary over here because as you can see it starts to cut into the uh, river which I'm really trying to keep the integrity of the river going and uh, on this side, it would have cut into the river pretty bad as well, where I don't feel like it would have looked the greatest. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with this for right now, and everything like that. And um, I'm thinking now we go do a little bit of uh, mining for just some general materials, and you know, just so we can sit and have a chat while uh while we go mining. So yeah, guys, um we'll probably go hop into that now and see what oh uh, see what we can do what we can talk about everything like that so yeah we'll uh i'll catch you inside the caves i wonder who that might be let's go uh let's go pop down here see what this is about oh hello hello there uh, what, what, Hello. What are you doing in this um, neck of the woods? Oh, uh, you know, just just passing uh, passing by. Uh, um, I've never uh, done something like this before, but uh, I I'm looking. Never to done do, something like uh, something like what before? Oh, nothing. Uh, just looking to get my hands a little dirty, you know. Just just oh, do a little oh. manual labor, maybe. Yeah, you should you should have said so. You should have said so. Of course. Uh, let me just uh go get my associate real quick. Um. If you head up to the oh. attic, he'll be he'll be waiting there for you. Okay, thank you. He just said top floor, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this looks like hey, a what's place. up, brother man? You looking to buy Howdy. some dirt? I I am indeed. Get your hands a little a little dirty here. Yes, not a, sir. You're not a cop, are you? Uh, uh, no, I'm not. Are are you? Am I, am I a cop? It, I mean, you know, you see what's, I'm, you see I'm what's, coming. you see, look at, look at what I'm bringing to the table. You think, oh, you think okay. a cop well, would have all that? You think a cop would have not. all no, that? No, no. Yeah. That's what no, I no, I, I'm so I sorry. Yeah. Anyway, let me do a little, uh, let me show you the, the inventory here. What we got okay. in stock here at, uh, Dirty Business LLC. So, uh, you look over here in the right, we got the cheaper, you know, this is the your run of the mill stiff. dirt. Yeah. The good old stuff. Mm. Yeah. Here, yeah. can I just sample it a little bit? Yeah. You can, you can give it a little taste, you know, put a little bit on your tongue. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. That is pretty good. It's pretty good sediment. Pretty good pH balance on that. You know, oh, yeah. and then over here, About seven, seven point two, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there in the middle. But over here we got the we got the primo <sighs> the primo dirt. If you start your own passion oh, with that, this right here. That is good. Yeah. Oof, Lucky I'm for you. Pick some of that up. We got two of the primo dirts in right now. You know? <sighs> okay, well you know what? I want your whole inventory. How much are we talking? You know what? 
I'll say this, if you're buying the whole inventory, the whole shebang, I'll give it to you for nine diamonds. That's what I'm thinking. Now, I'm cutting you a deal here, because I see this as a potential business venture. You know, a lot of future oh, endeavors. Definitely. And and tell you what, here is a couple off the top. Yeah. Uh, for for your loyalty and appreciate not, it. Yeah. Not, not yeah. mentioning this to anyone, please. Yeah, the dirty diamonds. Yeah. Yeah, and just remember, if you keep your mouth shut about this. It's a lot more where this came from. It's all you need to know. It's well, all you I need definitely to know. will not be mentioning it to any anyone at all so don't worry yeah. about me man I, my lips are sealed tight good good well, I'll be seeing you on then alright well thank and, you uh, sir tell the guy downstairs thank you for letting me use this house w will do so how'd it go up there was it uh was he okay I was to never deal here, with man. you were I never, was never here. here oh dirty diamonds for a dirty deed. <laughs> Thank you for the use of your house and uh, let me meet your guests. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Now it's time for the Panda Yap Sesh Mining Extravaganza. Y yippee. Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's uh, Panda. This is our first iteration of kind of our. Uh, I think I'm calling it the mining yap sessions um, where I kind of just throw up a time lapse of me mining and everything just for uh, I'm I'm just getting general resources, you know, some some stone material and then also like some diamonds and stuff, you know, everything that'll help out with uh, what we're going to be doing. But I'm kind of just here uh, talking about whatever is going on at the current time and what I'm kind of going to talk about this week or this time around is um I just wanted to give a huge thank you to everyone who responded so positively on my FTB Skies expert um kind of announcement video that I was gonna go on hiatus and everything. Um I made a community post about it and when I did, um, you know, this is probably like two days uh before I'm recording this is when I made that community post. But yeah, I, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to everyone because um going into that video and uploading it, I was super, super, super nervous. Like I didn't really know what to expect. I thought I was going to really disappoint a lot of you and really let you down. And, uh, you guys really showed me that I was, I was clearly wrong that, um, you know, you weren't there for, uh, the skies expert. You were there for me as a, as a person. And, I, I really appreciate that. Um, it really keeps me motivated to keep making these videos and everything. And obviously, I mean, I hope this video is an example of just the quality that I'm trying to achieve with with each and every kind of video that I put out and everything as far as like time and effort. You know, this takes me a lot more time to put together than a normal episode of what we were doing. But yeah, guys, um, that's kind of all I have to talk about this week. Um, you know going forward in the future it'll probably be about just different random things going on in my life but uh yeah this is probably where we're gonna end things up and uh you guys can uh, hop back into the episode so yeah see you then all right everybody we're uh back over here at the farming section after that mining yap session we uh were able to get quite a good amount of resources you know about a stack and a half of diamonds so that's pretty cool uh, hopefully be able to use those for some trade soon and everything. But now in the kind of theme of this episode, we're going to be making uh, another farm now, and that's our tree farm, which is going to utilize the bone meal produced from this guy and everything like that. And um, yeah, we're going to get to building that and hopefully everything goes well. Um, I know tree farms can be a little bit on the trickier side of things, but I'm going to try my best to make sure that I build everything correctly and get something that works for us and functions. So, yeah, guys, um, probably going to show myself building that right now. 
And when we come back, we're going to test it out and see if we can get some wood produced for us. So, yeah. And just like that, our tree farm is constructed and finished. A uh, big shout out to Nicolier, I think is how he pronounced his name. Um, I'm going to, you know, throw that up on screen right now and leave a link to uh, this video down in the description below. So if you want to build this, uh, you can. He um, has a pretty awesome tutorial on how to put this together and everything and assemble it and... Uh, yeah, it's it's really cool. It has um two different modes basically. It will it can kind of alternate between uh like you can collect like the warped fungus and stem and everything uh with it. Um you just have to switch out some blocks in the center there and it can collect jungle, birch, oak, uh spruce, acacia and cherry, I believe. Um, which is very interesting. It is technically also capable of harvesting mangrove, but it kind of needs some really specific conditions to set it up. And I didn't really test for them when I was starting out building this. And uh, we're probably just going to make a, a separate mangrove farm just specifically for mangrove wood. But uh, yeah, this farm is super cool, super cool. It has um, like item filters and stuff, so... You can see the little bit that I ran it in uh, in the time lapse and everything. It It's collected these items, and then it has this item overflow, which is where all the saplings and stuff go. But this is a super, super cool uh, thing. I've never really built anything like this before. So it was a really fun and interesting learning process uh, with how it works. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of over the moon about this because I've been collecting all my wood up until this point just by you know, going out and punching it with, you know, an axe or something and deforesting a bunch of forests and planting saplings back and everything. So this is going to be a game changer for the majority of the wood types that I'm going to be selling, but also, you know, just going to be using for, for building and everything. You know, spruce is a really, really nice one to be able to just uh, hop in this thing for like a couple hours and then just have a ton of it. And yeah, that's probably where we're going to end things for today. Um, I appreciate it if you watch the video all the way through, you know, this is the first or the first episode since our kind of, uh, shift in the content. So, you know, big ups to that. And, uh, you know, it really, uh, is a, a new kind of, uh, era on the, on the channel. But yeah, guys, as always, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And uh, let me know what you might want to see in the next one. Um, we got a lot in terms of planning going on with uh, the guild hall construction. That'll probably be the next thing we do now that we have access to all this wood and everything. And it's going to be an interesting experience, to say the least. Um, a lot of planning, a lot of building, but it's going to be super fun. I've got an amazing plan set out for what that's going to be. But yeah, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Uh, see you later.